First off, watching video of you, you're very, you're fiery. Tell me what, uh, what it means getting your dad gum chili hot. Is that a phrase of yours you like to use? You know, that was, that was one of the things that at the University of Minnesota uh, I talked about. And, you know, it's just about being passionate. You know, it's just about, you know, I love football. I can't tell you how great it was to be back on the grass today. Um, I missed it badly. And uh, uh, I just, like I said, that, that what you asked about, that saying, you know, is a little bit about me as, as you know, who I am and how much I love the game of football and, and how much I want to share the passion that I have for the game with my players. Did you were able to give them a little bit of taste of that enthusiasm today? Yeah, I was a little bit today, guys. I can't even tell you what a whirlwind it's been, guys. I mean, I flew into Starkville yesterday and met with, uh, met with Coach, and then I flew back to North Carolina last night, uh, spent the night at home with my wife, uh, continued conversation this morning with Coach Mullen, uh, was on the golf course uh, after about three holes. I had to excuse myself because I had to go pack a bag and, and and come back to Starkville, you know, and, and I just, you know, I, I, could, I can't be more excited, guys, about being here. Uh, this is something that I've looked forward to is getting back to, to coaching and because coaching is what I do best. Coaching is what I love to do the most. And, uh, you know, I enjoyed the short period of time. I was on the other side of the fence with you guys in the media uh, working last year with Fox. Uh, I was really excited about the opportunity I was going to have this year to uh, to work with CBS, uh, but uh, this, you know, timing and opportunity in life are so special. And when the two meet, an opportunity like this comes up, um, you know, it's just something that I couldn't, I couldn't pass up at this particular point. How much does it help having a veteran group to come in? Because it's good. It's good. But you know what? Uh, I've never felt like you know, hey. It's a get-it-done business. It's a get-it-done business as a coach. It's a get-it-done business as a player. And regardless of age, regardless of how many years you've been coaching, uh, the expectation is to win. And so, uh, but we've got some guys. Obviously, Bumpus jumps out, jumped out at me today. Uh, you know, he's a guy that really has some explosive nature about him, and and uh, he's gonna he's gonna be a, a strong fixture in this offense and. Uh, uh, but, you know, today, guys, I mean, heck, I was really just trying to uh, put names and faces together, evaluate. But, you know, my competitive juices got going, and, and I jumped in, and, and I took those guys, and, you know, and, and, uh, and just had a, a great deal of fun. What you know, kind of challenge go ahead. What kind of challenge you have? You know, you've been coaching the tight ends most of your career. Now, now it's wide receivers. What's different? What kind of adjustment you got to make? You know, there's no difference for me because I cross-trained the tight ends. The tight ends today, and particularly like when I had a guy like Antonio Gates in San Diego, we extended him, and I taught him X, Y, Z, and F. I taught him the backfield position, all the protections. And so as, as a coach of the tight end, really, to be honest with you, you understand the whole picture offensively. And so, and I, and I was a wide receiver for a period of time. I understand wide receiver play, uh, and it's a it's a natural fit for me. And and so, there's no issue there at all. Was there one or two things that stood out about this opening that were so attractive to you, or was it just football coaches yeah, coaching? You know, this, 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 this this is the thing. There's a couple things. Okay, number one is okay, and I've been very fortunate, guys. It's it's not about jobs. It's not about, it's about people. Okay. I've worked for three Hall of Fame coaches, okay? 13 years with Mac Brown, who I think is absolutely one of the all-time best college coaches in college football, will be in the College Football Hall of Fame. Uh, I worked three years for Marty Schottenheimer, who I think is a Hall of Fame coach. Hadn't had the success in the postseason that a lot of people would like, and then obviously Mike Shanahan, you know, and so, um, I've been blessed to have been around the best of the best. And, and I think Dan Mullen is of that same caliber. He's younger, obviously, but I think he's got an amazing future. Um, I was really fired up. We're, we're, I think we're similar in nature, similar in our passion for the game and our energy and, and, and that type of thing. And, and, you know, I just got excited about the, the possibility and the potential of working for the guy, you know. And, and because, again, to me, it's, 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 it's about the people that you work for, particularly if you're going to be an assistant coach.
Uh, when this, how did you find out about the opening, and what was your your first reaction? Was okay, I got I got to look into this. Well, you know what? My first reaction wasn't that I need to look into this. I just it kind of picked my interest a little bit. You know, I said to my wife that uh, you know there may be an opening with Dan Mullen at Mississippi State. What do you think? And I bounced it off my wife, you know, and, and uh, you know, my wife is extremely supportive and, and she's a great coach's wife and, you know, shoot, she's, she's ready, ready to saddle up and, and come to Starkville, you know, and, and uh, she was ready to get my ass out of the house, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> you know, she was ready for me to go back to work. But, um, uh, you know, the opportunity came up and, 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 and then, you know, I got more excited about it as I thought about it. Um, I've always had a... The SEC is the best football conference in America, guys. I don't think that's to be disputed. And uh, the opportunity to coach in the SEC is kind of like the opportunity that I had to coach in the National Football League. You know, you know you're coaching against the best, you know, and, and uh, uh, that was, you know, that was a strong motivation to me uh, to work in this conference. And then the opportunity to work for a guy like Dan Mullen, who I think is absolutely special. I think he's going to go down as one of the great coaches in college football. Um, just made it, made the situation very appealing. I've heard you say when you were at Minnesota that you know one of the things I have to do is go to the Sun Belt and get some of that talent. I would imagine you're excited about the possibility of going to the Sun Belt and getting it maybe yeah. some of that talent closer to home. Right. It's going to be a whole lot easier for me to attract kids to to Starkville, Mississippi than it is Minneapolis, Minnesota, particularly from the state of Louisiana and, and, and uh, Mississippi and Texas and Florida and the areas in which I recruit. I don't think it's no, there's no secret, guys. I love to recruit, okay? I love to recruit because uh, it's, it's the lifeblood of who you are in college football. And I love the, the competition of recruiting. Uh, and I just, you know, like I said, my battery is charged. I'm ready to get back at it. Uh, I know I'm excited about going into the state of Texas and recruiting. I've got some very strong ties in the state of Texas. Um, you know, I'm excited about recruiting the best kids in the state of Mississippi, keeping them home, keeping them here at state, uh, and then uh, wherever else Dan wants me to go, you know. But uh, that's a part of the job that I, that I, that I really enjoy. Any other questions? Perfect.